My name is Penny and this is Penny's Art Emporium and today I'm going to do a swipe. Um, I have got this canvas which is 30 centimetres by 40 centimetres and I want to do a line down the middle and swipe each way. So the colours that I'm going to use today my favourite colour is this Blue Topaz by Deco Art Metallic Extreme Sheen. So I want to do that as my whole base today. And then for the line in the middle, I have got this Payne's Grey that I mix with Deco Art Deep Sapphire. Uh, I have got this um, Iridescent Blue Green by Paleo. I have got a silver, a 24 karat gold, I've got a pearl, I've got this copper by Liquitex and I thought because a lot of these are iridescent and metallic it might need something just to help to sort of ground it down a little bit. So this one here is by Montmartre and it is red okra so it's just a real combination of different colours um, and we'll see how that all goes. So I shall put my base down and we shall go from there. As you can see Django has come to join me as well today. Hopefully we won't get any hairs in the painting. <laughs> okay, I shall get the base down. shimmer to it so I think it will make a really nice background to this painting. Um, I didn't mention before that I was also going to use Amsterdam White. That's going to be my first colour that I put down and I am going to put it pretty much in the centre. So that's the Amsterdam White. This is Payne's Grey mixed with the Deco Art Deep Sapphire, which is another metallic um, extra sheen colour. Um, I, I really like the Deco Art paints. This is Deco Art Silver. And then I'm going to put down some of this opaque colour. just so that they're not all just iridescent colours. I mean the white isn't iridescent either. And I just put it down in places. 
I really like this colour combination. is the copper which is a very similar colour but this is the very metallic iridescent copper liquitex. This always comes out really nicely and then I have got this nice um, deco art pearl colour And my favourite 24 karat gold. I'm going to put that top and bottom simply because I love it so much and it makes all the colours shimmer beautifully. And then I'm going to dot on here and there some of this lovely turquoise. Another one of my favourite colours. And I think that that is about it. So I am going to swipe. I will do swipes down and up with paper kitchen roll. We'll see how that is looking. If I think it's going to take a long time to do, then I will stop there and we'll put it on my flat. swipe down I will turn it around and then swipe the other way so we'll have two going this way and then turn it around but two going the other way and then I will assess it and see what I want to do with it so I'm just spraying water on my paper towel but the colours just look so nice So I'm going to do it downwards. So I'll, I'll put my paper towel kind of halfway in the middle of this line. I haven't quite got it halfway. I don't think it matters too much. And then I'm just going to very gently just move it downwards. But I just love the way these colours all interact with each other and the shimmer that you get from the metallics. And because it's over the top of this lovely metallic blue topaz, I just think it should hopefully look really interesting. I'm going to make sure that that goes over the edge there. That is one. The other thing that I am doing with these paper towels, because I've torn it off of a grill, so I'm making sure that the bit that I put down isn't the bit that I've torn off, so it hasn't got these little jagged edgy bits, it's just the straight edge. I'll just make sure I've got enough water on that. Water spray. Right, and let's do this side. Oh, 
I have used in the past plastic card to do my swipes with and um, the plastic that you get off of files but what I found was that there was a, a lot where the plastic wasn't in contact with the paint and I'd get big blobby bits that hadn't been swiped over and it was a shame because the painting itself was lovely when it had only been swiped for once but I then had to go over it again so there you are, that's that one so I'm going to turn this around now I have also taken my turntable off to do this painting I normally have my turntable on here and <laughs> it's one of those things isn't it you learn as you go along I learnt that my turntable was a terrible idea for a swipe because as I was dragging the tissue or the card or whatever over my turntable was moving and it was not good at all so this turntable was actually made up from a side table and it was a big round bit at the top and a little round bit at the bottom. My husband took it to pieces and put a lazy Susan in the middle. So here we are. Here goes for the bottom half. But those colours are looking really nice. Yes, and uh, I have practiced this already on one that I did. And the same thing happened as what has happened today. When I did the second half, it was much lighter. And I decided I really liked it. Because you could really see the blue topaz, which I love. And it made a difference between the top half, which has more colour, and the bottom half, which has a lot of the blue and because I love the blue for the pants, I'm very happy to have lots of that kind of almost negative space I guess. So here is this other piece. So <laughs> try and get it to uh, lay. Put the board on. So from there, I am going to assess it. I do really like this, I must admit. concentration of colour here so I might just swipe it a little bit I have got some little cardboard pieces that I have already cut out um, for exactly this 
um, because I thought what I would do, I'm really happy with the top and the bottom bits, I'm happy with that. So I just want to do a few little swipey zigzaggy bits in the middle now um, and it will break up some of those lines a little bit. Um, there are some bits I really like so I do like the little bubbly bits. So yes, this is always the bit isn't it, it's always the bit where you assess what you want to do and you really hope you don't ruin it <laughs> from doing something. So I am just going to do a little tentative little swipe down. So all I want to do is break up that line a little bit in the middle, here and there. I don't want to do anything that ruins it. do it in the middle. I don't want to do it right out towards the edge. There are some really nice bits. So I think just any bits where I think perhaps could do with a bit more colour. I want to do it so it's kind of symmetrical. I really like this. I do really like this. I'm not sure about that round bit. That's just there on its own. So I might just bring it a bit up. Maybe do just a little bit to match. wondering whether to just leave that now because I do like it. It's just got that little bit that's broken the lines up. Put a torch on there. Bit there. Uh, I don't know 
with a to just break that up with a tiny little line. I quite like using very small pieces. Yeah, that's better. I do, I love these little small pieces. And I think maybe I might just use a little small piece next to the bit I've already done. Yeah. I do, I love the little small pieces. I do use the little tiny little bits of card quite a lot. They just make it a little bit different. They just add a tiny little bit of detail, but without being too much. <laughs> yeah, so there was that little thing, wasn't there, when I said, oh yes, I think I'll leave it now. Unfortunately, I am not very good at just leaving it. Okay, now I am going to leave it because I'm very happy with that. It's come out really well. I like all the different colours. I will bring you down for a close up and you can see what you think. So here is this painting. I'm not sure what way up it would go. I'm, I'm thinking that probably the way you have seen it, this is the other way around. I just thought I would show you some of these details with the colours. Uh, because a lot of these are metallic, I think they will look lovely when they are all dry and shimmery. Which would be really interesting kind of a combination between the round cells and the swipes and of course those lovely colours. I love the 24 karat gold, you can see a kind of halo there from that. So that is from that way up and I shall go round to the way that you have been looking at it, which is this way. <laughs> Um, so I'm not sure which way, really. I'm not sure at all. I think it's a case of I will have to just see when it is dry. But I like all that topaz negative space in there. I love the blue topaz so much. But then I also like all those colours coming over the top of the blue topaz. And I love the combination of that copper in there as well. So I will let you see that when it is dry and we'll see what that looks like. So bye for now. So here is this little painting. It is 30 centimetres by 40 centimetres. And I'm very happy with how this has turned out. I really love this middle section. I love the metallic colours and the way they shimmer, the turquoise and the copper, which is just looking beautiful there. It's going to dry really lovely. And I love that whole middle section and how you've got the gold behind those other colours um, just shimmering through. 
and of course <laughs> the lovely blue topaz which I, wa I wanted a metallic base um, and blue topaz is my favourite colour in the deco art colours. So yes, I'm very happy with how this swipe painting has turned out. I like the white and I like the Payne's grey mixed with the deep sapphire as well. So yes, I'm very happy with it. So thank you for joining me. I hope you enjoyed the video and I'll see you again next time. Bye-bye.